It is Memorial Day in America. Special remembrance events held today across Southern California and the entire country, all honoring those who died in service to our nation. Thousands of flags planted at cemeteries for fallen soldiers today, loved ones gathering at memorials to honor our troops, veterans paying homage to brothers and sisters who didn't make it home, and our nation's leaders taking a moment to stop, reflect, and remember the greatest sacrifice. And here at home, special Memorial Day tributes across SoCal. In the Inland Empire, new names added to a memorial wall of local soldiers killed in action. It was a somber day, but also a time to remember those who made the ultimate sacrifices for our freedoms. KTLA Shelby Nelson is live in Riverside with more. Shelby. Yes, sure, Pedro. We are at the military wall of honor here in Riverside. Now, this site has been here since 1997, but the city council and city officials just implemented new enhancements to really welcome visitors. They've put flowers out here as well as flags to really personalize the experience for anybody coming up to honor these people. Nearly 800 of those soldiers here that are etched into memory and really just to help honor the memory of them as well. Somber ceremonies and a time to remember those who have given the ultimate sacrifice. Upon the chaos dark and rude. Memorial Day events held across the Southland honoring the fallen. You've got friends that, you know, didn't come home, and I could tell you names of my friends who didn't come home, and I think of them every day. At the Montrose Vietnam War Memorial in Glendale, dozens of people gathering in silence, laying flowers near the names of soldiers who have died. In East LA, a 24 hour vigil where volunteers stood guard over memorials at Los Cinco Puntos, a memorial for Mexican Americans who served in the armed forces. She came down to take a look at this wall with my two grandsons. A teaching moment for Mike Smith and his two grandsons at the Riverside Military Wall of Honor with nearly 800 names of soldiers etched into memory. I know several of them, and specifically as we get to the wall, uh, uh, Right under the bees, Michael Baum, who I went to school with, was killed in Vietnam. The city of Riverside unveiling its latest enhancements to the site established in 1997 and just in time for Memorial Day. Veterans, folks that are family members, Gold Star families, can come right up to the wall, can see the names, can touch the names, can really get up close and personal. We put, did proper signage, military seals. In Rialto, city officials and dozens gathering for an emotional ceremony and a time to reflect on the countless soldiers who have fought for our freedom, so often taken for granted. I was very fortunate to get home. So many of my good friends didn't make it. The weather, 20 below zero. It was cold, but it's worth it when you find fighting for our country, the good people in it. Like I said earlier, I do it all over again. And among the two names that have been recently added to this wall are two soldiers that were killed of the 13 soldiers last August uh, as the U.S. withdrew from Afghanistan in that attack on Kab or in Kabul. Uh, both of those people, the, both of those soldiers were from Riverside County, uh, Hunter Lopez of Indio and Kareem Nikui of Norco. Reporting live in Riverside, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. All right, thank you. All right, Shelby, thank you so much for that. Uh This morning, President Biden placing a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier in honor of Memorial Day. He was joined by Vice President Kamala Harris, Second Gentleman Doug Emhoff, and Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin. The president spoke afterward about the loss of his son, Bo Biden, who served in Iraq and died of brain cancer in 2015 at the age of 46. Today marks the seventh anniversary of his passing. I see him with me down at the Delaware Memorial Bridge, hugging all the Gold Star families. Days like this bring back before your eyes their smile and their laugh. A day very close for President Biden's heart there, clearly. Also today, President Biden, First Lady Dr. Jill Biden, honored family members of those who served in the military and were killed by planting a magnolia tree on the south lawn of the White House.